Hello guys, so I just wanted to go over uh, supply and demand, something that we've brought out recently and you know, I've talked about a lot. So I thought we would go over it and uh, you know make sure everyone understands where it's coming from, how to find it, and how to you know basically chart it. Um, so I'm gonna go into the range here on Alibaba uh, daily chart, and we're gonna start drawing these. So. For example, um, you could see we have a gap over here. This so we have a gap over here. This so we have we have uh, wicks here, closing over here, wicks over here, closings, wicks going all across this. So you're going to consider this area from the bottom of these candles, in my opinion, of where this kind of first gap starts over here, and you're going to fill that across to this side. So this is an area where Obviously, it's got before. Obviously, it has had support. It has had resistances, you know, gapped under the support here and opened here. It's gapped over it, or I guess you could say inside of that area, and then obviously supported here. So this is a good, um, as we want to consider it, a supply zone now, which is an area above, such as a resistance. And now we're going to draw a demand zone here. So for example, um, we actually could possibly draw one down here. You can kind of see the same thing forming um, definitely here. Um, you have gaps here, a lot of opening closings in these areas, and just a range of volume, as you can see on this side over here. So first of all, I'm gonna draw this one, which is right around here, right around where we actually kind of um, open that other day on this green day, which was yesterday. So you could see right around this area at the start of, oops, draw that, at the close of this red candle and the open or the top of the wick kind of that candle. And you can kind of draw this going across and you can kind of see that there is a lot of volume in this area. And also, oops. You can see there's a lot of wicks in this candle, a lot of open, openings and closings of these candles. And you can see there's a lot of volume on the, on the right side here. So that could basically show you there as well that there's a lot of demand in that area where it was traded before. Um, so that's one chart, for example. Um, let's bring up another one. I'll do charts that are going to be on our watch list for tonight. Just want to keep this video, you know, nice and short for everyone. And, you know, so it could stick. So we could do the same thing here. We have these candles over here. I'm going to start it from over here. I'm going to go all the way across. As you can see here. It was holding this area very well. You could see the volume on this side. And going across, this was, you know, a big area where we got rejected, a lot of closings, openings, where we went down a lot further, where we, you know, kind of got a reaching, uh, it broke through this point and, you know, went higher. And we're based over here. And now you can see we're under that. So this is one area where we're looking at. And for example, actually, so this one has gapped up overnight on earnings. So we're looking for a possible gap and go. And you can see, well, actually you can't see on this chart, but actually currently we are at 41.30 and it actually reached around 42.40. So it got into the range and got rejected. So that's something to keep in mind. So this is a demand, uh, not a demand zone. This is a supply zone above resistance. Um, I'm not going to really draw one down here. I guess you possibly could draw one going across here. I'm starting from right around here, right at the bottom of that wick, going across, filling this gap area, as well as filling these areas where it bounced, where it gapped from here, where it held from here, and these closings and wicks on this side. So that could be a demand area where you know, there is buyers where there is support in this area.
So for a demand zone or as support, you can see there's a lot of closings and openings in this area where there's a lot of volume traded, a lot of candles traded in this whole entire range here. You could start it from basically, oops, from the top of this gap again. Um, I just like to do it across them all so I can see. And you could basically put it across, let it fill right around there. So you get these candles in there where the wicks are, you get the gap area, the start of the gap area. You have a lot of trading in these candles and then you can see obviously it comes back into it. It holds the bottom of the demand zone here and you know so on and so forth on this side the same exact thing holds it and here you can see the same thing it comes right back into it and then pushes right up so i, I you know i hope this was a little bit helpful of course you guys can always ask questions i really want to you know kind of dig this into everyone because i feel like this is a very easy way to learn basically supports and resistances trading ranges and you know all sorts of that stuff so um, I'm going to post this up for you guys and uh, hope you enjoyed.